to thank you so much for yet another day you have allowed to see. Lord, we have heard your word. Help me, help everyone of us, oh God, to know how to behave ourselves, how to make no alley, and want to provoke you. Because as you are merciful, so your anger is devastating. Lord, wherever we have angered you before, and our cup is getting full, have mercy upon us, forgive us, and let your mercy stand for us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, we're about to hear your word again. I ask, O oh God, in your mercy, all the investments you have invested in us through your word, that we neglected, we never made work. Please have mercy upon us. Forgive us. Please let this, O oh God, have a fertile ground to, to be planted. Water it. Let it germinate. Bear fruit of righteousness in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For I surrender unto you, my little child, and know nothing but you. Please enter me, speak to me, speak to me. To the end, we all be blessed and let every spirit of destruction be chased away in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I bet we just raise the voice. I'm shaking here right now. Because I'm going to have a message upon us in Jesus Christ, my name. Amen. Amen. Do we have a message before the Lord God Almighty, before us through from heaven, titled, Maintain Your Little Walk for God with a Perfect Heart. Maintain your little walk for God with a perfect heart. That little work you are doing for the Lord. God is saying, maintain it with a perfect heart. Why did this message come? This message came because many people are being, are being embarrassed by the devil. Let me use that word. Some people are giving up, saying they are not doing enough. So therefore, the little they are doing, let them just leave it. But God is saying, the little one you are doing, and you are doing it with perfect heart, I prefer that one, and the one you are doing so big with, with hypocrisy. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 25, 2 Chronicles 25, 1 and 2, 2 Chronicles 25, 1 and 2, it says, Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. And his mother, mother's name was Jehoda of Jerusalem. 20, verse 2. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. He did that which was right. It was right for you to do very big work. It was right in the sight of God for you to always be in evangelism. Because it was right in the sight of the Lord for you to be in all the departments. But are you doing it with the right heart, with a perfect heart? It's a good thing that you are doing. It's good you carry the ministry on your head. It's good that you are always doing fasting, dry fasting. But is it with the right heart? But God is saying, my daughter, my son, that little one you can do. And you do it with perfect heart. Why don't you do that one? That doing the big one, you'll be murmuring and complaining. Say, nobody is praising you. With all I'm doing, the pastor is not praising me. Why don't you do that little one? That even though nobody's praising, you can do it in your perfect heart with the Lord. Brethren, let us do whatever we can do for the Lord and be happy with it. That one that you know, whenever you are doing, it gives you joy, that little one with joy in your heart. Do it and let God be glorified in your life. The one that will not make you more, not make you complain. Big work with complaint and memory. Stop that and do the one you can do with joy. The Bible says in 1 Chronicles chapter 29, verse 
9 to 10. Then the people rejoiced for they that offer willingly. Sorry, for, they, for, for that they offered willingly because with perfect heart they offer willingly to, to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. The thing you know you can do willingly. Don't let the man of God force you. Don't let them push you before you do it. Do it willingly with a joyful heart. And let the man of God be rejoicing. And let God also rejoice with you. Now you are doing big things. You are complaining. You are murmuring. They have left all the work for you. Remove your hand from that one and do the little you can do. Verse 10. Therefore, David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Why? Because people were rejoicing, working with him. They were not doing things like Skure, like, uh, like Millipit. They were all rejoicing because they were doing everything they did with joy, willingly. And the prayer was answered when David prayed. Why? Because everybody were joyfully working with him and for the Lord. Brethren, it is a taboo to do everything for God with grudges in your heart. God is not really concerned about how big you are doing. He's concerned about how perfect you are doing it. Is your heart joyful? With it. You can do big thing. If you can do that big thing with joy, ah, very good. Even better. But if you can do little with joy, it's also good. But then it's better you haven't started doing anything for God or with Him than to be doing it with murmuring and complaining. We see what we done just now. How those people who said they are Levites. Because they are not left right now, they are not measuring themselves with Moses. They start complaining, is it only you? We can also complain in our memory. It's better you are just out there, you're not doing anything, that you have started it and start complaining in the ears of the Lord. Very dangerous. That's why the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 28, 47 to 48, because thou servest not the Lord, that God with joyfulness, not because you do not serve him, serve him at all, because thou serveth not the Lord that God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. For it, therefore, thou sh shalt thou serve thy enemies with the Lord, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he destroy thee. Why? Because doing the work of God without joy, with complaining and murmuring. So therefore, is there anything you are doing for the Lord? Please do it with all joy. As I said before, it's better you are not doing, you are not working for him. It is dangerous to what could you not see him like other Quran Abraham? They don't see him, they don't know you don't you don't know who God is. If it's me, you know if I'm angry, if I'm not angry, but this is God you don't know. So we must carefully and fearfully work with him. So it's better you are not doing anything, it's better you are not handled handed anything from God. If you handle it, you are complaining. Oh, God have mercy. Numbers 11, 1 to 4, but I'll say, I'll say, just take one more time. And when the people complain, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the utmost part of the camp. Murmuring. Complaining, hey, for example, God forbid, I'm not saying she's doing it. Maybe on that day, after the album, they have the album. Maybe the man of God now just got the money, scattered the money. They stop saying, hey, oh, if I knew, 
I would have said it's for the orphan. Oh, hey, I would have it's you. Because of that complaint, she has failed already. So we must be very careful not to murmur or complain. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 10 and 10, neither murmur ye, and some of them also murmur, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Don't murmur. Don't complain. It's even better. You just take your hand away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let somebody else come and do it. Then you are still doing it, and you are complaining, you are more money. Very, very dangerous. See what the Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Do all things without more and disputing. Do all things you are doing for the Lord with joy. Don't murmur, don't dispute. Do the little you can do, the one, the strength I've carried you, do it. And leave the rest. You made this work. After our departure, if Christ said, this work will still be there. Apostle Paul did it, it was not finished. Moses did it, it was not finished. So we also, let us also do our own part and leave it and go that you carry it on the head and he saved you to hell. God have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, Asa the king could not do all, all, but his heart was perfect and God granted peace in all his ways. The first one just now did much, but the heart was not perfect. And there was war. They all, they all killed him. I read everything just now. But this young man, this little with all his heart in perfection, and uh, God gave him peace. And in so, uh, Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 16 to 19, and also concerning Moshe, the mother of Asa, the king, he removed her from being queen because she had made an idol in a grove. And Asa cut down her idol and stopped it and bought it um, at the brook. So see, but the high places were not taken away out of Israel. He could not do all those ones. Neither the heart, but nevertheless, the heart of Asa was perfect all his days. This is what God is looking for. The little you can do, do it in perfection. 18. And he brought into the house of God the things that that, he, that his father had dedicated, and that he himself had dedicated silver and gold and vessels, 19, and there was no more war unto the five, five and nineteenth years, thirtieth years of the reign of Asa. Why? Because he did the little he could do with a perfect heart in God. Do you need peace in your life? Do whatever you are doing with joy. The Lord desire that joy, that the great work you are doing. As I said before, but if you can do great work, and uh, you and uh, joy is in it, it's perfect. It's even better. But if you can't put your hand in everything, the little you can do, do it with joy. Make sure you are doing something, and that thing will be done with joy. Brethren, God knows how weak you are. He knows your strength. He knows how far you can go. Don't let the devil say, ah, you are not doing anything. Don't let the devil cajole you. Yesterday morning, one, the morning one said that because uh, 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 she was not, she, what she could do, but she cannot really do it because that she could not come and do what she's supposed to do on the mountain. In the evening again, that's what brought this message. Other sister, I want to leave that department because I'm not really doing much. I say, what can I this? See, this is this is devil. The God you are doing it for is not complaining. You are not doing much. But the little you can do, maybe you, before you, you can pray for five hours. Now you can only pray for three hours or two hours. That one you pray for two hours. Pray it with all your heart, without grudges. Without hatred in your heart, 
That is the one God value more than you will stay five hours of prayer. You are keeping money with people. Hatred is in your heart. Because you prefer five minutes prayer than ten minutes prayer of murmuring, complaining, praying, die, die, killing people with prayer. That the people that they, that they will offend you. But that is what God, I am a sinner. Have mercy upon me. I have held. Forgive me in Jesus' name. God preferred that one. So you spend seven hours in prayer, and out of all seven hours, God will not see two minutes to take away from it. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse 8 to 10, I know thy works. Lord, I have said before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength. Hmm? For thou hast a little strength and has kept my word. This is what God is looking for. With little strength, you kept his word. With little strength, you fear him. With the little you are doing, with the fear, you fear God in it. That is what God is looking for. And has not denied my name. Look at this. Behold, I will make them of the snagot of Satan. We say they are Jews and are not. Are not. But do they do lie? Behold, I will make them to come and worship before the with your little sweater before their feet. And to know that I have loved thee. Sister, brother, that little one you are doing with the fear of the Lord, that little you are doing. With joy in your heart, God will make the enemies to bow before you. You will pray, God will answer you. Before you say, in Jesus' name, he's already answering. Then you are dropping up and down, going even doing other people's own and complaining. You will cry and shout, God will not hear you. Verse 10, because thou has kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And because you are put hard in everything and you are complaining of Moses. You are doing everything. You are fighting for the pastor in, in, in Ireland. You put hand everywhere. You are fighting me in, in, in Germany. Do little one and let me get and let me have rest. Do little one you can do and let the men go have rest. It's better. Do little one you can do your family and let your husband or your wife have rest. Don't go and put her in house you cannot build. And you're complaining. Eh? Do the little you can build. Uh, God be happy with you. I believe God is speaking to somebody here. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the, all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth because you kept my word of patience. Because you fear me. Because you do the little you can do with joy. The Lord will take you in rapture. But you are, you are going from a valley to a valley. You are, you are doing many things in company. Rapture takes place, you'll be there. You'll still be there. Why? Because your heart was not pure in doing what you are doing. Brethren, God is the doer of his own work. It's not you. No one can do anything with his own, with his or her own strength. Depend on God. Don't the reason people complain, they do it because they think they are the one doing it. There's nothing you can do. You can't do anything. The reason people are killing themselves over things because they think they're the one, they're the one doing it. But when you believe the Lord is the one doing it, you will never complain. The ministry belongs to God. The work you are doing is for the Lord. He is the one that enters you to do the work. When you are not thinking that you are the one, that you will complain, you will murmur. Put in all your strength, all your power. Let God do it to you. You see, you'll be smiling. People will imagine me. With all you are doing, no complain. Yes, it's not like. I was on a meeting with some, some sisters the other day. Some of them said, ah, this sister, 
you are everything. So he said, I am not even doing anything. You people that are looking at me think I'm doing so much. But to me, I, I, I have no, I'm not even seeing what I'm doing. God is the one doing I was just looking. Okay, that is a daughter of Zion. Until you know you are not the one doing it, you surely complain. The Bible says, in First Samuel, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, it says, he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dog hill, dog hill to set them among priests and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the laws, and he has set the word upon them. Nine, he will keep the feet of his set, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. By strength. It's the Lord that is doing everything. It's not you. You are even taking the glory, thinking you are not doing it. Oh, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. Why, why are you tired? Because you don't depend on the Holy Spirit. Rest yourself in the Lord. You see, it will be flowing. People be imagining, ha, this man, you are laboring there and then, but to me, to him, to her, there's no labor anywhere. Why? Because he or she know that it's the Holy Spirit that walks through. Look at people who complain. You see people who think they're not doing it. I, it's me. It's my husband. It's my wife. With that, you usually complain. But when you believe the work is of the Lord, I'm only a vessel that he enter to do it. You will see smile in your face. Why those who are able to do little one are complaining that their eyes is squeezing? But you that is doing much with joy, see, you see, you see, you see, it will be refreshing. It will be joy in your heart. Why? Because you depend on the Holy Spirit. To do his own work. I tell this and I believe a word is enough for the wise. Brethren, I don't know what you are doing for the Lord. Though. Are you fainting? Don't worry. God is about to talk to you now. In Isaiah 40, 28, um, 31 to 31. Please, Father, please help me quickly go to Revelation 3, 1 to 2, as I read here. Isaiah 40, 20 to 23. How that not know, how that not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the end of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. 29. He gave power to the faith. Are you fainting? Go to him as a father and power me the more. No complain. Run back to him. We strengthen you. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. 30. Even the youth shall faint. The youth, I think they, are, they have muscle. After they do jogging, jogging, they do uh, uh, press up with their, with their muscle. They think they can do it. They can do it. No way. They will faint with all their muscle. The youth be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. But, I love this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall map up with wings as ego. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Wait on him. Don't complain. Trust him. Depend on him. Say, Father, this is your work. All I'm saying, I'm a vessel. Do it through me. The little you can do, let it do it through you. And the big one you're also doing, let it do it through you. All I'm saying, let your heart rejoice in what you are doing. That is what God is looking for. Revelation 3, verse 1 and 2. Average. Amen.
and unto the angel of the church inside his right. This thing said he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou hast lived, and are dead. Two, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. So I think it's Okay. Three, remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. Mm -hmm. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Amen. 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 Who, who, who is love speaks to right now? He said, Be watchful and strengthen that which is about to die. That little one that remain now, can you strengthen it now? Maybe Satan has deceived you. Hey, you are not doing much. Why are you, you withdraw? That little one that remain, can you go and strengthen it now again? Can you wake up now and go back to your duty? Can you go back now? I said, Father, this little one I can do, strengthen it in my heart. See, I have not found your work perfect. Why? Because you were complaining and no more doing it. And the work is dying in your hand now. Do something now. Go back. Wake up. Strengthen yourself. Before you know, you start flying again. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will map up with weeks as ego. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Sister, brother, don't faint, okay? Don't give up. Go back to God. Let your hand. Let him know you are depending on him. We strengthen you. You go back to that prayer again. You go back to whatever you are doing. But gradually, gradually, gradually you go. Remember, as I said before, Apostle Paul and Red, they did it. It was not finished until Christ come. This work will not finish. Hmm? Did you hear that? Well, what's up? Until Christ come, <laughs> it will not finish. Let's do the little we can do. This, little, this one that he gave to us, let's do everything to take care of them. Hand them over to God on that day. They are doing everything to gather the whole nation to come to the ministry. And cannot handle them. To help us to handle this one with joy. Amen. The last day we all will see the Lord in His, in his glory. In Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Has God spoken to you? Let's go to Him in prayer. Hey, Father, you have spoken to me. Please empower me. The ever I was fainting, strengthen me. The ever I was giving up, I give up no more. I know you love me so much. Establish your joy in me from now on. Make my heart per perfect in all that I do with you from now on. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Jesus Christ, they will pray. Amen. Amen. Lead us and today is also NDJ. I want you to tell your Father, every sort of complaining, murmuring, try to be like somebody else. Take it away from me. Help me to maintain my lane. Help me never to measure my own with somebody else again. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise and glory, the honor. Lord Jesus, I have to bear to my name, Lord Jesus, I have to go and help us in my Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help us in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, I have to go and help
This is your hour of redemption. Give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ now before it is too late. If God is saying, I'll come to you that I have worked and you are fainting. You may not make it to the past you that is not even there at all. Surrender yourself to the Lord now. Let it become the Lord of your life. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you have done that, please, I want you to call the men of God for baptism, counseling, and prayers. Our Lord will lead us to be a blessing to you. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you because you are strengthening me with your word. And I know you have also strengthened somebody out there. But I ask, oh God, that the grace of God to follow you in fear and trembling, to follow you with gladness of heart and in perfection, be released upon us all from now on in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, the grace of God to know on that day we shall stand alone with you. By so doing, not compelling ourselves with ourselves. Give us that grace, O oh God. And let every soul complaining, murmuring, be taken away from every source on this mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. But I ask you from now on, the little we can do, give us the grace to do it with all our hearts for you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 God, 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 for you, strengthen them, grant them the grace to start to follow you in the air, like every source on this mountain. Arise properly for the contest. Have mercy, forgive me, O oh God, and let your name be glorified in our life on the last day we shall come to you in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If the Lord has spoken to you, give me a give it, give it a celebration free. Thank you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, man of God. More grace, more strength, more anointing, more of God in your life. I pray any voice has left you. May God Almighty replenish you back to your meaning forward. And the Lord God Almighty crown you with the crown of life on the last day. I will grant you journey mercies into the kingdom of heaven so you may. Uh, Rejoice in your heavenly mansion in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. And I pray that God Almighty grant us the grace to work for him faithfully, with joy, with gladness, with all, uh, you know, gladness in our hearts. God Almighty grant us the grace from here on in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. So, beloved, it is offering time. Yes, in time. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, our Lord. Thank you for saving us. Thank you, our Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for saving us. Thank you. Amen. So please, for those connecting with us here for the first time, I want to welcome you to the Mountain of Solution and Redemption Prayer Ministries Worldwide. Please join us as preach and practice. And please, as a newcomer, if you'd like to contact the men of God in the ministry, kindly do so by contacting this telephone number, which also works on WhatsApp. Plus, the number is plus 491-521-33-4015. And this number is well if you're dialing it directly, be mindful of the area code. And visit our website as well to access spiritual materials to enhance your spiritual growth. The website is www.msrpm.org. 
And we also kindly want you to stay behind after the service closes to see the available men of God. Our next meeting is going to be 11 a.m. Central European time for our second session. Today's Wednesday's prayer and fasting. And also by the grace of God, from the 3rd of January uh, 2021, we'll be starting our 21 days prayer and fasting from 6 to 6. So please, uh, let's take note of that. And uh, all revenue information remains the same. Also, night vigil. We'll be having a night vigil later on today at 12 a.m. Central European time. So please, let's still take note of that as well. And God Almighty, strengthen us all, empower us all as we embark on this journey in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Um, so God bless you. Over to you, Mal. Praise the Lord.